Princess Diana's makeup secrets revealed. What was the secret behind the late Princess Diana's makeup style and her flawless skin? When you're a princess, it's all about beauty, right? We reveal some of her unknown beauty secrets. And also, which perfume did she wear at her wedding? Stay tuned for more. Welcome to our channel and make sure to subscribe. After shooting to fame as Prince Charles's young fiancé, Princess Diana quickly rose to become a style and fashion icon. From her fresh-faced teenage years to bolder looks in the late 80s. While her lips were typically a chic nude shade and skin was just natural with a flush of pink on the cheek, Diana upped the drama when it came to accentuating those famous ocean blue eyes. She always loved mascara, all about the luscious lashes to dazzling effect. And she wasn't afraid to play with color. One of her most iconic makeup looks has to be her blue eyeliner. She used in particular a call from the Elizabeth Arden brand. It was pretty daring for a royal. In fact, no one has really rocked it since. She also opted for red nail varnish at times. Not a common choice for royals. Diana's makeup look was widely copied, from her voluminous short hairstyle to her flawless skin. For her engagement photo shoot, makeup artist Clayton Howard used the Max Factor blusher stick called Blushing Frost on the bride to be. While many people envy Diana's complexion, the princess reportedly suffered from rosacea. She would use rose oil and avocado masks to soothe her cheeks. Di always stuck to radiant skin that didn't look like it was caked with makeup. She sometimes stopped her lipstick with gloss to make it pop. Her makeup artist in the 90s, Mary Greenwell, has revealed some amazing beauty tips that Princess Diana followed. Mary first began working with Princess Diana when they teamed up in 1991 for Vogue's December issue. Di was very easygoing about her makeup look. When Mary asked her how she wanted her makeup to be done for the shoot, she just wanted to look fresh. Greenwell loved making her look glamorous for the red carpet and then making her look and feel relaxed in her own skin the rest of the time. However, Greenwell decided it was time to say goodbye to Diana's signature blue eyeliner. Blue eyes should never wear blue pencil or shadow. I think classy beige and brown tones were much more suitable for her. Diana was very aware of her beauty regime, cleansing, toning and moisturizing twice a day. She always started with a moisturizer. She developed one herself for Lush, then a foundation to soothe her skin tone exactly, and used a concealer to lift the eye area. Don't forget face-framing eyebrows. To copy Diana's well-groomed arches, Greenwell recommends applying brow gel to keep hairs in place, and then using a toothbrush. Diana's struggle with bulimia was no secret, but after splitting from Prince Charles in 1992, the People's Princess embarked on a healthier and more sustainable lifestyle. According to a Kensington Palace chef, the princess loved to eat chicken and fruits. No dairy, no sugar, not much alcohol, just an occasional Chardonnay. And did you know Diana loved to eat lychees? Every morning she started with a hot cup of water and a lemon to keep a fresh, glowy, healthy-looking skin. She loved to swim, roller skate, and was often spotted nipping to the gym in iconic athleisure outfits. And how about her perfume? She always wore fragrance, walking out smelling divine and chic. The exact perfume Princess Diana wore on her wedding day is under 200 US dollars, and you can still buy it today. It was one of Diana's favorite scents, Quelques Fleurs by Ubi Jean Paris, a floral fragrance with notes of jasmine, lily of the valley, and rose. Most women love how the late Princess Diana looked. Whether it was her style, hair or makeup, she never failed to stun us. See you next time on Princess Diana, the channel.